everybody, Sue here. I wanted to come on and share with you what I've been reading about a little bit lately and learning about called the labeling theory. It talks about the labels that we use to describe ourselves. Uh, for instance, you know, I'm shy or quiet or reserved. Those are labels I would probably have used for myself <laughs> in the past which I still have those a little bit, but so the labels that we use to describe ourselves or classify ourselves, if we think we're a career woman or a super mom or a mom, stay at home mom, whatever it is, how you define who you are, whether it's positive or negative, um, results in how our thoughts and our actions that we take. So we are what we think we are. So if you think you're hardworking or inspiring, uh, you tend to be more positive, using positive words to describe yourself. And then when you um, think positively, positively of yourself, you take more risks and you might have more personal growth or uh, development. So if you think you're a winner, you act a winner and you will soon become a winner. This also applies though to negative labels. When we say to ourselves, um, I'm ugly or I'm too heavy or I'm a loser, uh, we start to think like that and we can actually have physical symptoms, um, nausea, headaches, migraines, and we're not quite sure where that comes from, but it, it can be from our negative thoughts. Um, so how can we change this or how can we use this theory, labeling theory in our life? Well, we can try and catch ourselves when we're labeling ourselves with negativity. Uh, for instance, oh, I didn't get to the gym today. What a loser. You know, I've been eating bad. I, you know, you know, tell yourself, I'm changing now. I'm strong, I'm healthy, and I'm going to hit it tomorrow or, you know, eat a better dinner or whatever it is. Um, change it into a positive. Um, so challenge the labels. Change them to a positive label. Always describe yourself positively and catch yourself when you're having negative self-talk. Um, and then think about too, would your friends label you this or is it just you being too hard on yourself? Uh, lost my thought here. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, so just in recapping, like one word doesn't describe who you are. You're not just um, shy or you're not just a mom or uh, just because you might have failed at something that doesn't define you either you're not a loser um, nobody's perfect what you think about yourself does affect how you live your life and you become what you think you are um, so words are powerful choose them wisely especially when you're talking to yourself so I'd love to see how you describe yourself in three positive words in the comments. Thanks for listening and have a great rest of your day.